Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So guys, today's video is going to be 6 Bible study tips. So if you are someone who just feels really unorganized when they're Bible studying, or someone who doesn't even know, have any clue where to start when it comes to Bible studying, this video is for so let's start off by let's start off by talking about what you're going to need. You're gonna need obviously the Bible. You're gonna need. I recommend you to get a notebook dedicated just for Bible studying, just to keep things organized. Honestly, so this is like one of my notebooks that I use for Bible studying. Yeah, and then you just want to get obviously a, a writing utensil like a pencil or a pen anything you feel comfortable with using if you don't own a bible if you don't haven't bought one yet um you can just use a bible app on your phone or something like that so yeah that's basically what you need and yourself obviously okay so tip number one i wrote down some notes guys okay so tip number one is to find the best time to do bible study so um me personally i like doing bible studying early in the morning around the time when i first get up because it's quiet around that time and i just feel like it's really uh it's like best to always start your day off with god so yeah in the mornings when i wake up that's my bible study time and it's so peaceful around that time so i love doing it around that time um just I recommend you just find a time that is quiet and where you can really focus because it is Bible study. Okay, so tip number two is to go into Bible studying, at least having an idea of what you want to read about. For example, say if you want to read one of the Gospels or you want to go into Revelations or you want to read a story from the Old Testament, just kind of have an idea of knowing what you want to read about going into Bible studying. And if you really don't know what to read, just pray that the Holy Spirit just guides you to where you want to read. And yeah, because knowing what you kind of like having something to read about will kind of make everything go a little bit smoother. You know, you won't be sitting there just kind of confused. So tip number three is to stay focused so especially for new bible readers it's kind of especially when you're reading the old testament it's kind of hard to stay focused because a lot of the words that are used especially if you use the king james version it's kind of confusing and it's super super easy to come become like not focused on what you're reading so and trust me it's normal even to this day, I'd be like reading a whole chapter and then like five verses and pass by and I'm like, wait, hold up, what? What's going on? Like, what just happened? So just when that happens, just go back a few, uh, go back a few verses and kind of like pick up off, you know, <laughs> okay, kind of like go back and like regain your focus, if you know what I mean. Okay, so... Yeah, just try not to lose focus because it, it's kind of easy to lose focus. That's why it's important to find a time that's like quiet and where you can focus because it will be easy to lose focus. But keep your focus in the game, okay? Tip number four is to write slash be organized. So what I mean by write is while you're reading, right? And like say a Bible verse just really jumps out to you. You might want to write that verse down because usually when you're reading the Bible and a verse jumps out to you, usually that's a way of that's God speaking to you. Say if you are having like a really, really, really tough time and you're feeling like you're alone, like you're feeling alone. And then let's say you're reading Isaiah chapter 41 and then you go, you read verse 10 and which says um, like, it tells you that God is always with you. That's God reassuring you and letting you know that He is with you. So when that kind, of, when those kind of things happen, when Bible verses jump out to you, make sure you write it down because it's really important to take note of things that jump out to you. Which also goes hand in hand with keeping things organized. What I mean by that is, you might be like, "Well, I'm not an organized person." That's fine. Okay, that's that's who you are. That's fine. What I mean is by like keeping the dates 
and writing down like what verse it is and what the title like on the top of the paper like put what chapter or like what book you're reading so just to keep things organized and keep your brain like cleared so you can know where you're at and what you're doing okay so tip number five is to reflect and to pray so so you're reading the bible right the verse jumps out to you and you write it down say you're done reading like say if you want to read a chapter you're done reading that chapter and so now and you've already written down like all the verses that you like felt were really important at that moment in your life right so you need to reflect go over all of what you have written down and kind of reflect and really understand what you read and the story that, that you're reading in the lesson in that chapter or in that book you were reading, right? And pray. What I'm going to pray is, let's say if you're reading Psalms or Proverbs and it's uh, like maybe it's saying how we need to be aware of our sins and the things that we do and how we treat others. You can pray and ask God to help you just like kind of like pray about what you read to like help you. <laughs> oh my god just basically pray about what you were reading about say if you read something that was talking about how to treat others maybe you want to pray to god that if he can give you the strength and the wisdom to treat others better and to treat others with love right so that brings us down to our sixth and final tip which is to apply always 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 whenever you read the bible you want to make sure that you think about ways to apply it to your life so i heard this one so i heard someone say that the acronyms for the word bible is to its basic instruction before leaving earth which makes sense if you think about it so you always want to apply the Bible to your life. For example, me today, I was reading um, John, and so John 13 verses 34 through 35. It tells us that we, sh Jesus tells us that we should love others as He has loved us, and by doing this, people will know that we are disciples of His. So today I was just meditating on that verse and thinking about that verse and the actions that I do trying to make sure that I treat everyone with love and just think about how God and Jesus loves me and how I can reflect that onto others. So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure it's more. Now I'm not saying you have to go by these six things to do Bible studying because obviously everyone is different. These are just some things that can kind of like give you an idea of where to take your Bible studying. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope it was really insight insightful for you and I hope you got something from this honestly. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. And also in the comments, write down some Bible tips that you have. I'm pretty sure uh, I'm positive I didn't put every single Bible study tip in this video. So if you have any Bible uh, study tips, comment them down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and